Hello and welcome to Elk Camp. Well, if you've watched the show over the last several years, you definitely know by now that I'm kind of a one-trick pony and elk is kind of where it starts and ends for me. But when my daughter Amanda came to me three years ago and expressed an interest in turkey hunting with me, well, I just thought I had to make an exception for her. So on this episode, we're gonna chronicle Amanda and I's three years of turkey hunting together. So when Amanda told her dad that she wanted to turkey hunt, I could tell it made his heart pretty happy. Because growing up, our girls, they were so busy with school and athletics that they didn't get a lot of chance to hunt with their dad. So this was an opportunity for them to actually get a little bit of that back from when they didn't get to do it. We kind of learned their routine throughout while we were hunting, we kind of figured out where they like to go. Um, so it's kind of cool that they're like people that way. They have their little area that they go hang out and then they have their little area where they go to bed. So that was cool to get to know how they do that. So during our first year of turkey hunting together, we really had to grind it out and we had not had a single encounter over several days. But on this particular evening, things were about to change for us. Well, as I said before, I think, um, you know, when Amanda said she was wanted to hunt, her dad's heart was super happy. But I think part of him was a little nervous because while he's a goat when it comes to like elk calling, turkey calling was new for him. So I think he was super nervous about it. Um, and that night that that turkey came in gobbling his head off, I think that it was a sense of relief for Steve because that turkey was responding to him, but so exciting to see. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. fun this evening. <laughs> they came in and got right on top of us, didn't they, Amanda? Yeah, that was crazy. He was gobbling his head off. Yeah, he was. We're gonna come back and get him tomorrow. They're so red. Yeah, they're gobbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're coming we for you. Him. We got some unfinished business with that dude. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, we call the game. Zeiss Sports Optics, confidence in the toughest conditions. Scree, extreme mountain gear. And by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. Elk Camp with Steve Chappell is brought to you by Bergara Rifles, our barrels make the difference. We had to do a little scouting and we relocated them. And they're just right back over here, probably about a half a mile away, we think. So we're gonna hike back in there and check it out. What do you think, Amanda? Let's get him this time. Let's get this dude, all right? He's been lucky a couple of times and his luck ends tonight. 
Um, I think my favorite thing about this hunt was the last day because I had my mom, dad, and sister there with me. Run down there quick. Go get him, get Run down there quick. Gets gun on safety. Gun on safety. If he gets up, shoot him again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. All right, Amanda. <laughs> you did it. You did it. How'd it feel? It was good. <laughs> Shaky. You, you knew you were going to get a shot right there, didn't you? Yeah. I asked you if I should shoot him when he was across the creek, but you didn't say anything. So I was like, I'll just wait. I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't. You waited. Perfect. He was about, probably about 33 yards when you shot him. He went straight down. We love elk camp, but when we turkey hunt, we love doing it this way. Yeah. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> well, that was quite an amazing first year of turkey hunting for Amanda and our family together. But due to Amanda's schedule, we had to skip a year, but she was back the following year, and we were looking forward to going out and chasing some gobblers again. Well, on this morning hunt, we finally got a gobbler sounding off. And as we were moving in, we didn't realize that he was already coming toward us. And unfortunately, we bumped him. And so we had to get set up really quick. And because the turkey was putting and going away, I started calling right off the bat. And it kind of put Amanda in a rush and it got really hectic for us. <laughs> Stop, stop. 
well, unfortunately, with Amanda missing that gobbler, that was gonna be our last morning to get to hunt turkeys on that particular year. And of course, Amanda and I were a little bit disappointed, but we made some great memories, and we were already anticipating the next season, and we knew we were gonna settle the score with the gobblers come the next year. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Zeiss Sports Optics. Confidence in the toughest conditions. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Scree, extreme mountain gear. The shotgun was a lot better this year um, because I was able to have the scope right on the turkey. Um, last year it was hard for me because I have that cross-eye dominance. Trying to look down the barrel with my left eye was really hard, but this time it was really easy to just get in on the, on the barrel. Birds are running away already. They're just small. Yeah. I couldn't see. Oh, them yeah. There. Yay! Let's get a turkey now. Oh, yeah. So on this year, I got Amanda set up with a brand new CVA Scout 410, and I knew it was gonna make all the difference for her. And we decided as she was target shooting that we would try a couple of different loads to see which one would pattern the best. Put a rally. Put a rally. <laughs> I feel like this one's more concentrated too. than this one. Me too. I think Houdini's in trouble if he shows up. Mm -hmm. He makes an appearance. Yeah, hopefully we can get him out of the box. What I look forward to the most about hunting turkeys this spring was, I think, just not getting one last year and working so hard for it. <laughs> so I really wanted one this year. And I felt like we had a good chance at, the, at it this year because we kind of knew what they were doing in their schedule. So we were able to like set up where we needed to. Well, with the turkey starting to gobble up on the ridge across the canyon from us, Amanda turned and looked at me as if to say, well, dad, it's time to start talking turkey. <laughs> When we were set up and I heard him gobbling, I was really excited because, like we said before, the birds were talking but the gobblers weren't, so it was nice to actually hear them. And I thought we had a pretty good chance because they hadn't heard your calling since last year, so they might have, I felt like they were gonna come check it out. Well, after several series of calls on my Rocky Mountain hunting calls, Captain Hook mouth diaphragm and the gobblers hammering back at it, I was anticipating that a gobbler might show up at any moment. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Steve Chappell's Zero Hunt Fees. Experience Arizona elk hunting with zero hunt fees. What is a rifle? It should be a tool that matches the precision, perseverance, and determination you bring with you to the field. Wherever you go, bring a Bergara. This episode of Elk Camp is sponsored by Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls. We call the game.
<laughs> when I saw the gobbler first show up, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I thought that maybe he had gotten down um, off of the tree and gone back away from us. So I was kind of just sitting there daydreaming. I was not ready for him to pop out. But when he did, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna happen. <laughs> so it was really exciting. What do you think, Amanda? That was crazy. Oh, I didn't even see him. I didn't tell you hit the field either. Yeah. Amanda, I knew though, the last time I got a gobble was right up there and I knew they were coming. Oh my gosh. Good job. Good job, Amanda. I was I was like, am I waiting too long? Am I waiting too long? And I was like, no, no. just wait until you have the perfect shot. Yep. When I walked up to the turkey for the first time, I just, I don't know, my heart was still pounding. I was still really excited. And then I got a text message. It uh, vibrated in my pocket and I looked at it and mom had texted me and said, how are the turkeys? And so I replied to her and said, dead. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a cool moment. <laughs> you have a good beard? Oh, yeah. Pretty big. He's heavy. Yeah. We have a little more to carry on our way out of here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So when Man and her dad sent me the text about getting the turkey, I had asked how was the turkey hunting this morning, and Amanda sent me back a little skull and crossbones and said dead, and I was like, what? Dead? Does that mean the turkey's dead or the hunt was dead? And the next thing I got was a picture of the turkey dead, and it was very exciting. Wow, Amanda, that was incredible. That was fun. That <laughs> yeah. Was crazy. We didn't think they were coming our way for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I kept thinking they would go back the other way. They were going to stay up on top, but we stayed on them just a little bit with the mouth call, just doing some yelping at them. And, and uh, next thing we know, this big boss shows up down at the edge of the field. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when you first saw him? <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> yeah. He just popped out of nowhere. Yeah. He really is Houdini. But this morning it was just meant to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God, the Lord definitely blessed us this morning with this great turkey. Yeah. He was waiting for us. Yeah. He made an awesome shot. Good job. You let him get right up to us. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I'm so happy. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My favorite thing about this hunt was probably that it was just you and me who got some good bonding time um, and that it just it seemed like everything happened like magically like I was not expecting to get one on the first day to hear him gobbling and just the way he walked straight in toward that decoy was really cool so it was just all it all happened so perfectly.